Anthony? What are you doing in there? Sorry. Where's Lino? He's right behind me, isn't he? You're mine now. Look at these poor, sweet, gentle creatures. The lambs of the sea. Stuck their whole lives in a tiny... There's one behind me, isn't there? And is it like exactly the opposite of how I describe them? <laughs> All I know is we've searched half of the Zeta Quadrant to find the missing LGMs, and what do we find? A lot of nothing! There's something really bad behind me, isn't there? <laughs> No intention of being killed by a madman. Drop the weapons! Oh, there's something behind me, isn't there? I don't have time to pursue a relationship. My work is too important to allow any distractions. Diana's a remarkable woman. She's a valued friend. She's... standing right behind me, isn't she? Don't let that stop you. Keep digging. I'll have to explain it to him. I'll have to tell him everything. He's so dense sometimes. That guy is so... Uh, uh, right behind me, isn't he? Moda. Take abomination and investigate. Now go! <laughs> hey, Scream, go on, beat him. The Tasmanian devil's liable to get you. He's a mean, vicious, nasty, no-good, baggy-eyed, marble-headed ignoramorous. He's a stupid ye flattery will get you nowhere. I'm rich. <laughs> I don't like parties. Cause I'm a big bald party pooper. Uh oh. <laughs> that loser that's kevin he's the neighborhood dork i have to slap him around every now and then just to remind him who's boss eddie neighborhood dork huh hey double grid you getting this oh you can say that over the phone batman but if i had you here i'd pound you to a pulp <laughs> start pounding joker you know what i hate a guy in a blue suit <laughs> There's one right behind me, isn't there? Why do you keep CCing me on things that have nothing to do with me? <laughs> <laughs> Is that supposed to be me? Oh, hey, Stanley. Uh, I was just doing an impression. I do not think that is funny. This gift stinks. Homer, you're the most selfish man I know. Oh, come on. Mr. Burns is way more selfish. That evil old bone bag. Smelling of death, nose like a vulture, followed everywhere by that kiss-ass Smithers. <laughs> yes, that describes Kathy and personnel to a T. <laughs> hey, Yami, where's Yumi? Hmm, well, I suppose I keep a low profile, too, if I had to wear that ridiculous face brace. <laughs> if I had a head like that, I'd rent myself out as a suspension bridge. Yeah! <laughs> oh. Oh, hi, Yumi. How's it going? Looking good, kid. You know, you really are the most beautiful woman I have ever seen. How about if you ditch that jerky karate teaching boyfriend of yours and run off with me? Okay, thanks, buddy. I owe you one. Godspeed, my friend. So long, sucker. <laughs> he must be taking stupid lessons from that buffalo. There's nothing. Nothing? Oh, that's a relief. Yeah. If it was right behind us, you'd say something, right? I don't want to look. I looked.
Gentlemen, fill me with barbecue sauce because I'm dumb as hell. Mira, mira, tú no sabes qué pasa. Quiero yeah, una I know, Javier. The toughest one is the big fella. Really mean looking with a fat head and a thick skull. Looks like a shaved ape. I mean, he is uh, 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 ugly like a big, swollen, overgrown. He's standing right behind me, isn't he? Mm-hmm. Ah! Rose, <laughs> for somebody who's supposed to be so smart, Dorothy's acting like a real goober. Rose. And Dorothy wouldn't say that right to her face. Of course, I'd have to stand on a chair. <laughs> <laughs> it's her, isn't it? <laughs> Look, Skippy, I've seen and done every trick in the book. Hold it, dear. You're doing the old frozen take bit, which means that Doug the dog was right behind me. <laughs> the other day, your teacher asked her, Patty, what's two plus two? You know what she said? Tallahassee. Uh, Elga. <laughs> Don't interrupt me. And then he says, Patty, what's the capital of Florida? And she says, uh, four. Then he says, Patty, are you having fun with me? Well, she says, I'd be having a lot more fun if you'd stop asking me such hard questions. <laughs> I mean, she is dumb. <laughs> uh. There we go. Hey, Anna! Sven! Where'd you guys go? We totally lost Marshmallow back there. <laughs> We were just talking about you. All good things, all good things. Wait a minute. Why are you saying that all of a sudden? Oh, God, you're pregnant. No. Oh, God, you already had the baby. It's right behind me, isn't it? No, you idiot. It's... Demonstration for Gibbs. You know how hard it is to explain technical stuff to him. Yeah, good thinking. It's like every time I try to explain something science-y and his eyes glaze over and he gives me that, will you shut up and get to the point look? He's behind me, isn't he? No. Didn't the guy just buy a $12 million house in the Hamptons? You think he can throw the support staff a squirt of hazelnut? You know what I'm saying? Like... <laughs> He's right behind me, isn't he? Between you and Phoebe, I'd have to give the edge to Phoebe. What? Really? Are you kidding? Phoebe lived on the street. Okay, plus, she's got this crazy temper. She... She's not standing right behind me, is she? No, you're fine. You know who would love this place? That barely legal junk box that Dave brought to Penny's birthday last year? You know the one with the tramp stamp and the tongue ring and the bad hat? And she's right behind me, isn't she? No. Oh, that's because she's over there. What? Yeah, the point is, it's Morgan's fault. That pencil-pushing scazwag. Why, if she were here, I'd... Uh oh is she behind me? No, I'm in front of you. Ah! You would not believe the stuff that I pulled on Mom, okay? Like, faking her signature on my report card. Really? You were never afraid of your mother? No. Wait, see these earrings? Hers. I liked them, so she was sleeping on the couch one night, and I just stole them right off of her. You know, we are never going to find this list in the dark. Oh, thanks. You know whose fault this is? You know, when you come right down to it, it's Margaret, that big mouth busybody. You know, she just... She's the one who told me to get involved with this in the first place. You know, she's really brave when she's pushing other people around, but, you know, when it's her turn to tell you guys something, where the hell is she? Right behind you. The Queen? Oh! The Queen, that inbred, antiquated old cow. The only way she could stop me is if she sat on me with her big, fat, royal bottom. <laughs> She's behind me, isn't she? Your Majesty. I'm so rich that I can't even afford to know how to treat people right. <laughs> <laughs> My name's Worthington, and I'm a big jerk. Enough! <laughs> Worthington. You were making fun of me. No, 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 you don't understand. Uh, tell him, Flap. He thought you were asleep. Well, I wasn't.
I feel awful saying it, but I'm kind of embarrassed by him sometimes. I know, and he's got boobs, too. Stupid guy with boobs. Acting like he doesn't want us to look. He wants us to look. Stop making fun of me! <gasps> I just wanted to listen to you guys have sex, but you were saying mean things about me! Chris! Oh, my God! Uh, no! We weren't talking about you! Yeah, we were talking about Meg. We, we call her Chris so she doesn't know. F you! Shut up, Chris! This is so great. Even Gibbs can understand this. Oh, he does. So much younger in person and much better looking. And stop. Stop right there. You see, I, I, I was just afraid that you might be one of those self-obsessed literary types. I'm sorry, I'm You not. know, the Tweety twerp with his nose in this book and his head up his hat. It's nice to meet you too, Mr. Harrow. Oh, this is the worst looking hat I ever saw. Well, you buy a hat like this, I'll bet you get a free bowl of soup, huh? Oh, it looks good on you, though. Oh! <laughs> He's right behind me, isn't he? Not really my color, is it? What's going on? Uh, probably Neville's forgotten my password again. Hey! Oh! Good. How are you gonna enter a monster contest? You don't even have a monster! He's right behind me, isn't he? Yeah! No way! This place is not haunted by a ghost! And when the sun comes up, Donkey will be the new king of... He's right behind me, isn't he? Hype only cares about himself. He's arrogant, egotistical, rude, terrible friend. If you can even call it that. Hi, Tam. Hi! Hey, Tim was just telling us all kinds of great things about you. Like that your outfit is so so green. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you did tell me once before though, you do respect him, don't you? Respect him? A man whose family crest is made up of two cream buns and a profiterole. <laughs> a man whose idea of a light snack is standing behind me, isn't he? Yes, he is. <laughs> I was just talking about you, sir. I was saying what a big fat lump of blubber I think you are. Who's my driver? Not Timio. Relax. He's in jail. You got the substitute. Prokopi. The creepy, hairy, creepy guy? He's right behind me, isn't he? You would be a terrible marauder. I would not. Are you kidding me? You wouldn't last two weeks. I'm a survivor, thank you. And if the chips were down, I would step over my own mother to get to... She's right behind me, isn't she? Mm. Could not happen soon enough. I'm sure Gibbs is feeling right at home. Well, you don't need electricity to use hand tools or drink a bottle of bourbon. <laughs> He's right behind you, isn't he? Venus has a line with Mars, which means love is in the air and maybe we will get weekends off. <clears throat> what? Is he standing there? He's standing there, isn't he? Hello, Garcia. Hmm. Just saying, this could easily go sideways. I mean, the last time we saw this guy, he was a raging homicidal maniac. He's standing right behind me, isn't he? Mm. Seems your hunch was right, 007. It's too bad the evil queen of numbers wouldn't let you play it. You were saying? No, no, I was just, uh, just, um... Good. Because if I want sarcasm, Mr. Tanner, I'll talk to my children. Thank you very much. And trust me, it's not easy. Now, if he's dead back there, I'll never forgive myself. And if he's alive, I'll never forgive him. And, Doctor, you're standing right behind me, aren't you? Oh, yeah. I hate you. You don't. The looks on those faces, those tobacco-chewing, gun-rack-having, chicken-screwing, sister-marrying, abandoned toilet seat in the front yard-having, vitamin-deficiency, ugly faces. They're behind me, aren't they? Howdy, boys. Why well, I could lick them in a ball game with one hand tied behind my back, all by myself, yeah. Yeah, I'd get up there and wham, a homer, wham, another homer, wham, 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 wham. Yeah. Which 
You know women can't stand to see men having fun without them. Of course, that's the only way a man can have fun. <laughs> She's right behind me, isn't she? Afraid so, pumpkin head. She's smiling, though, right? Because she knows I love my woman. You will be supervised in your work by our own expert in all things historical, Dr. Ichabod Rugg. The fossil himself. <laughs> He's right behind me, isn't he? Yeah. I don't think that's wise. Well, maybe I'm just not wise, but I think Jennifer, or should I say Zathrak the Undead, is a stuck-up, manipulative, cold-blooded... Oh, she's right behind me anticipating my head meet, isn't she? Hello, Corey. All hail Zathra. Where is she? In reception room. Tell her I'm out. I did. She said she'd wait. Good. Tell her I'm out of town. Welcome back. So who are the yahoos in Washington going to deal with on this? I guess I would be the head yahoo. Big Edna. Big Edna. He's not like a broken record. Why are you so afraid of that pathetic tub of lard? I smoked him. I wouldn't be so cocky, Chance. Hey, hey, whoa, whoa, time out. Look, when Chance scares somebody off, they be gone. Uh, Chance! Lousy punks think because they're bigger than me, they can steal my fish. Well, they ain't even that big. Chance, get away from there. What is this? He was hanging the help. He was helping us. This guy is not normal, I'm telling you. Did you see his eyes? He's got crazy eyes. He's a lunatic. I'm telling you, we are going into the wilderness being led by a lunatic. He's behind me, isn't he? Maybe someday... You will have ears like mine. <laughs> That's good. Uh -oh, uh -oh. Ears. It's not working for you? I thought they were pretty good. It's Shifu. Of course it's Shifu. What do you think I'm doing? Ooh. Master Shifu. Uh. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, well, uh, Rachel's going to need to yell sweet nothings in his ear. Huh? <laughs> Us. Oh, come on, you guys, that's funny, you know, because he's going to need, he's got like a hearing aid, you know, because, because, because uh, he's all old. <laughs> I can't believe you did all this for me. At least you stopped short of getting me a sidekick. That might have been creepy. He's right behind me, isn't he? No. Is then I'd be a behind kick. <laughs> oh. Oh. Can I ask you a question, Bishop? Sure. You enjoy working for Gibbs? I mean, I heard he's tough. Real hard ass. He's standing right behind me, isn't he? Yeah. Hey, back in the beds. She's coming. Oh, yeah. Well, like, I'm real scared of Rocky. Rocky. I'm locked up now because I got a whistle. Oh, Rocky's right behind me, isn't she? Worse. And that's how you beat the house with nobody the wiser. There's a guard behind me, isn't there? And another thing. Anybody caught dead in these outfits, I'd be taken out and back and... <laughs> and, and, and given a, an award for their fine, fine sense of fashion. My, you look handsome today. <laughs> I did it, and I'd break it again if I had the chance. But you know what? There's nothing you babies can't do about it, because you... Oops. <sighs> Mr. Pupper, phew, punctuality is a priority for this particular person. Don't sweat it, Pip. Start scratching this old gal behind the ears. Pretty soon she'll be curled up in my lap, purring like a kitty cat. Purr. Right behind me. Mrs. Van Gundy. 
Agent Brislikov is totally incompetent, I agree. It takes someone willing to break the rules to solve the toughest cases. He's up a phone. Why, he's just a... I thought I smelled something burning. I'd give anything for an order from the Diamonds, but all they talk about is Steven, Steven, Steven. Steven! Hi, Holly. Bye, Holly. Mom, I'm an actual man now, a man with needs, and I'm gonna show Waffle Girl just how much of a man I am, and it's gonna get so freaky that she's right there behind me, isn't she? Well, you're damn right we're gonna tell her. Yeah! yeah. We've all been here a hell of a lot longer than she has. Yeah. yeah! She pushes us, we push back. <laughs> she's standing right behind me, isn't she? Her voice was so masculine and growly, I thought it was a man. I mean, people must call her sir all the time on the phone. It must be so... Im <laughs> She's standing right behind me now, isn't she? All because I was scared of telling Penny Fitzgerald about a stupid laugh. A laugh that sounds like she's gargling her insides up through her mouth. Your words, not mine. I should have just done my part of our secret pact. You get rid of Miss Simeon's toxic piehole vapors, and I get rid of that laugh that sounds like a circus mule operating a pneumatic drill. <sighs> They're standing right behind me, aren't they? No. Oh. <laughs> They're on your left. No, makes no sense. Why spend all that time listening to women and buying them things if you're not going to try and sleep with them? I get here. Hurry up! Hurry as fast as I can. There's somebody behind me, isn't there? I hope the ranger doesn't find out about all the trouble, Yogi. What the ranger don't know ain't gonna hurt him, boo-boo. What the ranger does know is gonna hurt you, Yogi. Uh, just a minute, Mr. Ranger. Uh, uh, can we talk this over? Sure, Yogi. Over your dead body. Ow, ooh, ooh, ouch, ouch. Poor Dak knows a good thing when he sees it. Now that I'm in charge, Shadow Weaver won't be the only one. Uh. I'm gonna say this once. I'm gonna say it simple. And I hope to God, for your sakes, you all listen. There are no abominable snowmen. There are no Sasquatches. There are no big feet. <laughs> Am I missing something? <laughs> we need a new hot water tank. You want that, you gotta talk to Will. Oh yeah, right. Have you seen him since he took over? He's running around here like his hair is on fire, which it very well could be considering the amount of gel he uses. He's right behind me, isn't he? I, I, I am your father. No, 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 no. Let me say this. I am your father. If it was not for me, you would not be able to pay for the air that you are breathing. I mean, this Alves could be a real loner type. Somebody could have done a real number on this guy, an X, maybe? I mean, no doubt the army taught him order and discipline, but a desk like this could mean he has commitment issues. He's behind me right now, isn't he? Luke Alves, meet Emily Prentice. He's not gonna like you. And frankly, you're not gonna like him either. Tell me. Why not? See, I'm not gonna answer that question, because if I do, he's going to walk up and stand right behind me and make me regret it, because that's the way he works. He slithers through the grass like a snake. He's not friendly. He's a boy. Oh, done. And also... Oh, you think that could actually happen? Honey, I, I grew up with Sean Hunter. Remember his mother? She forgot where she lived. <laughs> See, my biggest worry is that forgetting to give your kid a cake is the first step to forgetting where you live. Oh, that's not your biggest worry anymore. <laughs> Maya's behind me, isn't she? Why is everybody always behind me? Mosley, you're an idiot. I'm not cheating off you anymore. Promise? There are plenty of other brainiacs that I can and will cheat off of. Really, Bitsy? Is that so? Come with me and get the plaque. Well, I don't get you, number four. Why don't you come trick-or-treating with us? Are you kidding? Oh. Halloween is for stupid babies who like dressing up like girly butterflies and begging adults for candy. <laughs> <laughs> that is, uh, unless you're into that kind of stuff, <laughs> I mean. So you guys aren't at all worried about having an evil mutant poking around the brain of a big, hulking, crazy green monster who is totally... He's right behind me, isn't he?
Hulk wants this. Hulk tired of Hulk. <laughs> Guys, Ronnie Ann is not my girlfriend. She's rude and gross and totally annoying. I'd rather lick the bathroom floor than kiss that weirdo. <gasps> Ronnie Ann! It's Leviosa, not Leviosa. <laughs> she's a nightmare, honestly. No wonder she hasn't got any friends. <laughs> I think she heard you. No, I can't help you. I got one more question. Tess is going to help me get this machine. Then she can go, <laughs> and then I can get back to Raven time. <laughs> what? You're just using me? Uh, no, no, Tess, I'm not using you. I mean, did you see the way those ghost hunters were laughing at him? How embarrassing. We're all gonna have to live with my dad's goof-ups for the rest of our lives. <clears throat> He's right behind me, isn't he? Yes, I'm afraid he is. If you need me, I'll be upstairs doing something wrong. Nasty and cold heart is such a pig, don't get me started. He's a schmuck, he's a schmo, he's the worst. I should know, he's my dad, he's a cat. He's right behind me, his name. Yeah, before you know it, she's gonna start rambling. Making up crazy rules. Making stupid schedules. Oh, the last thing we need around here is another Danny. Yeah. best friend with her it's just business it's always been business i'm using the girl and when we're done with her we'll dump her in an orphanage is that okay with you sure boss anything you say i i would get it if she's some great catch but she's not axel could have his pick of anyone and he picks april she's a moron an idiot if breathing wasn't automatic she'd be dead That's all she's getting, Roseanne. I ain't gonna waste no killer prank on Nancy. She's not worth it. I don't like her. Oh, man. Hey, Nancy, wait. You don't understand. Oh, Best moment of that idiot's life was getting his ass kicked by John Claude Van Damme. He's a freaking bitch. A stupid bitch. He's right behind me, isn't he? Nope, he is right behind me. You're looking at him. Ivan Drago's in the house. I hear those guys are like automatons, strictly business. Well, if Boris is coming, could Natasha be far behind? Okay. <laughs> it's going to be trouble for the big moose and little squirrel. <laughs> it's so... It's, he's right behind me. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you know what? I think the chief is right on this one. I mean, on this job and this crew, there's only one Tommy Gavin, and I doubt that any of us would want to be him right now. <clears throat> Sorry? I said that I doubt any of us would want to be him right now, and by him, I mean you. You're not even going to try nope. to... How many crackpots, I mean crockers, does it take to screw in a light bulb? I don't know. Who cares? Crockers nuts! <laughs> <laughs> I just would like him to go away and never come back. It makes me uncomfortable, Virginia. He's just too different than us. I could say I was surprised to hear that kind of intolerance from someone in this town. He's right behind me, isn't he? Bert, that only works if he hasn't said anything. Uh, we did it? Oh, no, you don't, Rabbit. I did this. It was me. I masterminded this entire operation. It was me! It was him. It was definitely the pig. Yeah, we, uh, what? Mark, it's, uh, Cindy, she, she's really, uh... Virgin. Richard, can I ask you something? Sure. If we were in the unisex having the same exact conversation, what would happen? Oh, that's easy. I, I turn around and, and Cindy would be standing there. Flush, flush. <laughs> Cindy, hey. Hi. He gets jobs that aren't jobs. We only hear from him through change of address cards. I mean, he's lost. He's lost soul. He's a dented can. He's behind me, isn't he? What do you want to do? I want to stop seeing Maul. Then don't turn around.
Your Aunt Vivian can be quite bossy at times, but uh, when she starts bossing me around, I don't let it bother me. I just say no in a strong, masculine voice, and when I say no, she jumps. Excuse me. <laughs> what did you say? I don't know. How long have you been there? Mom and I are trying to find a way back home, so why would she murder some human? That woman is dangerous, duplicitous. And she's standing right behind me, isn't she? I'm pretty good at sensing what's going on around me, and there's definitely something wrong with this Ted. Ted? Of course, Ted. Who do you think I was talking about? Hi, Ted. Ted, who's here? Hello, kids. What's so important? Sherlock, I'm right in the middle of a date. You want me to chase some killer while I'm trying to... What? Well, I'm trying to get off with Sarah. Hey. I'm going to need details. Oh, there will be details aplenty in my steamy letter to Penthouse. <laughs> okay, my mom's still behind me, isn't she? Hi. <laughs> Two ladies need some company? Oh, sure, I'm married, but, uh, you know, I'm not dead. <laughs> Lilith is here, isn't she? Call animal control. She's behind me, isn't she? Look, look, watch it. Look at me. I'm an eyeliner from England. Hello, mate. Have you seen my kangaroo? Put another ship on the barbie. <laughs> Meet the highlighters. <gasps> Hi, big fan, big fan. There's something behind me, isn't there? Ulcerative colitis. Hey, 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 hey. It's behind me, isn't it? With every couple, there's the hard ass and then the sweet one. Like I said, <clears throat> son of a bitch doesn't answer. He's right behind me, isn't he? Fat men are supposed to be jolly. General Burkhalter is just a nasty old tub of lard. <laughs> and then the next time he calls, I'm out. He didn't call this time. He didn't? Well, if he didn't, he probably telegraphed. And if he didn't telegraph, he's probably standing right behind me. <laughs> what a wonderful surprise, General Bokata. I knew you were here all the time. Any other calls? Lauren. That bitch just can't help herself. I mean, it's my first day back. Kate. My father is not even cold in the ground. We can't all be obsessive, Kate. impulsive, anal retentive. She's right behind me, isn't she? Kate. No, just the two of us. Oh, and I'm supposed to be surprised that Dragon's behind me? Well, how does she do that? A ninja, you're not. That was my favorite car. Come on, come on. Hey, we're on TV, and nobody likes to cry, baby, right? You know, it's, it's situations like this that, that tend to make kids stronger. I remember a slogan, actually, into everyone's life, some rain must fall. Right, folks? Right? Boy, that's a big shadow. <laughs> Is your dad home? Is he standing right behind me? He's a big man, isn't he? Is he smiling? You're little, you're little holier than, than, than the holy almighty, holy, holy attitude is not going to be tolerated. Okay, you walk amongst us, my friend, not in front of us. Matthew. David. Matthew. Don't stop me, David, really. Yeah, let him continue. Thank you. I... David? Mm-hmm. Bill is, uh, standing behind me, isn't he? I'm afraid so, Matthew. There's something behind me, isn't there? Wait. 
There's one missing. Oh, my God. Brett! Yeah, Brett! That big, dumb pussy with all the Mormon energy. He's floating right behind me, isn't he? Oh, my God! Oh, shit! Do you desire another slice of the cheese, Robin? Thanks, Robin. Got room for another one, Robin? Don't mind if I do, Robin. You know, Robins, I have to admit, the mask makes me feel cool. Get him, Master! Kill him! Wait, where's the other Jedi? Oh, no. <laughs> Between us, I can't get him off the ship fast enough. Um, the man is so emotionally fragile. Fragile? <gasps> was I too much trouble? No, 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 no. You were great. I love having you here. I was a bad guest. I'm so, so... <laughs> Let me get my phone while I record your ladylike screams. <laughs> what are you all looking at? <gasps> There's something behind me, isn't there? <laughs> Thought you'll move in my house and kill me? What? <laughs> She's right behind me, isn't she? Well, you had your fun. Now you can go home. Uh, Roger? Uh, 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 Roger? Uh, there's something bad behind me, isn't there? The... I mean, unless a T-Rex is capable of camouflaging itself perfectly in any surroundings with chameleon-like... Oh, shit. It's right behind me, isn't it? You know, he has got to be the meanest, <laughs> snootiest, <laughs> penny-pinchingest... <laughs> and he's right behind me, isn't he? Actually, I'm listening over the intercom. <laughs> oh. It worked! <laughs> yes! That idiot believed every word. Now let's see how he enjoys living in that shit tank. He's right behind me, isn't he? He's in front of you. Oh, my eyes are still adjusting. The first order of business is to get me in front of Cable so I can pull all the fucking blood out of his body and fashion his bones into holiday jewelry. Then I'm going to take his skin and stretch it out over a homemade mating drum. He's standing right behind you, isn't he? It's just... It was kind of irritating when he's not the boss. When he is, he walks around with that peacock strut, that smirk. It's like... <laughs> he's behind me, isn't he? Smirking. Uh, where is she? Tell you what, Kendra. This time when you come at me, I'm going to do some Brazilian jiu-jitsu and roll you into a tiny donut. Shake. Uh-oh. She's behind me, isn't she? That sort of thing. I know. <laughs> I'd hate to see the look on old Burnsy's face if he knew I was just getting in. <laughs> <clears throat> hmm, who is that? Big ugly nose, bald, liver spot, liver spot. Hmm. <laughs> Turn around, Simpson. Ah! No, I can't get in trouble if I can't see you. I'm afraid he's got us, sir. <laughs>